To write the name for ZNS, we first need to recognize we have a metal and a nonmetal. So we're going to name this as an ionic compound, specifically because there's two different elements. It's called a binary ionic compound, and we'll use these rules here. So first we write the name of the metal as it appears on the periodic table. ZN, that's zinc. Then we'll write the name of the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. S, that's sulfur, lowercase s. And then we replace the ending with IDE. So we write IDE. And the name for ZNS, that's zinc sulfide. So although zinc is a transition metal, it has a two plus ionic charge. Sulfur has a two minus. Since zinc always has that two plus ionic charge, we don't need to write Roman numeral two here for zinc sulfide. We just call it zinc sulfide. This is Dr. B with the name for ZNS, zinc sulfide. Thanks for watching.